Ladies of NYC, be fucking aware. This man is out here on Tinder and Hinge and he will steal from you. So this is a story about how that fucker stole my Mary Jane tabbies um, that my father bought for me as a birthday gift. Okay, so how it all happened. So I'm walking around Soho and I see this really cute guy and we cross paths, we just lock eyes and that's really it. Fast forward in the evening, I get a message on Tinder and it's from the guy and he's like, hey, did I see you downtown? I didn't know we matched on Tinder before, but guess we did. We start chatting and then we ended up going out for drinks. We get drinks and everything seems like cool and like he seems like a nice guy and like someone I would just probably just hang out with for like a little fling and just like sleep with. After the day, he's pretty persistent about like seeing me again and hanging out. Okay, fast forward, we hang out again, he comes over and we sleep together. Before we sleep together, we're like chatting about like fashion and stuff and he's like really wants tabbies and like he, I'm like, oh yeah, I have some tabbies and like he's like, oh, I really want the boots. Okay, so then fast forward to the morning, we have sex again. Then I get up, I go and I brush my teeth, I come back, he's putting his clothes on and we chat a little bit more. So now we're chatting and he's like, oh, can I show you this playlist on Spotify? I feel like you really like it. And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, he doesn't have Spotify, we've already discussed this. So he, um, I give him my phone to go on Spotify to look it up. I open my phone and everything for him. I give him the app to Spotify. He looks it up. So then he gives me back my phone. He's like, I can't find the playlist. I'm just like, okay, it's time to go. And he's like, I'm gonna head out. And I'm like, bye. And he's like, okay, like text me. And I'm like, okay, bye. The hours pass. I'm on my computer. I look over to my shoe rack over here. I have tabby boots up there. We were talking about the tabby boots and he was like referencing those. He barely glanced at the, the Mary Janes, okay? I look over there and they're gone. And I'm like, where are my tabbies? So I look like high and low look under my bed look at my suitcase look at my closet can't find them anywhere so i'm like okay that's fine i'm not gonna be accusatory i'm just gonna see if he knows where i put them i go to tinder to message him unmatched gone i'm like oh no this bitch stole my fucking shoes so i go it's fine we talked on the phone i'm just gonna go um to my call log and find his number i go to the call log and he literally deleted the history of the call so i can't find his number and I'm like, so when you were on Spotify, you were actually deleting my your phone number from my phone. More of the story is don't fuck with this fucker named Joshua on Tinder. He's a dickhead. And if you know who he is, where he lives, or anything about him, fucking let me know because I deserve retribution and I want my fucking shoes back. Okay, so I woke up this morning to the video getting even crazier. And now there's memes. It's on Twitter uh, and everywhere. But update i got my tabbies back so yeah i ended up getting them back and i'll tell you guys exactly how so after like finally finding him he privated his instagram i couldn't really communicate with him through that um i like reached out to his sister i reached out to like a bunch of people because people were giving me a bunch of information about him so i was just trying to get in contact with him um, he finally calls me two hours later after he privated his account and starts to gaslight me and tell me that um, he didn't steal them and he doesn't know how it happened and what happened. And he's like, that's just out of my character. I would never do that. And like, I started feeling crazy because I'm like, you're real. He's this man is a psychopath. Um, he was trying to convince me that he didn't steal it. I'm like, how? Then tell me how what happened. Um, and then he went into saying that he would give me money for it. And that's when I knew he was fucking lying because he was like, I'll, you, I can give you $500. You know what I do for a living. You like, I'll give you $1,000. And I'm just like, oh, when you're offering money, that means you did it. Like an innocent person would not give $1,000 if they did not do it. So then the plot thickens, find out he has a girlfriend and that he gave my tabbies to his girlfriend um i send him a screenshot of his girlfriend wearing my tabbies and he's like an hours later at 3 a.m i get a text message and he's like i right, you caught me um i'll give you back your shoes can you take down the video so this is him again gaslighting me being like i didn't do anything then i send him this and then hours later he's like got me that's his girlfriend wearing my shoes by the way and like he thinks this shit is a fucking joke this is another message he sent to me after he was literally smiling like the whole fucking time. What is the best place in New York City to buy tabbies? The West Village Margiela store, of course. What's the best dating app? <laughs> Not Tinder, that's for sure. Um, Hinge. Best neighborhood? Harlem, actually. Yeah, Harlem. Best place to buy knitwear? 
Maddie and Danny, of course. The originals. <laughs> what tips do you have for people to stay safe on these streets? Bet the guy who comes over your house, um, go on at least four or five dates, um, and lock up your tab tabbies. Put them in a lockbox, just tuck them away because there are thieves out there. Oh, like you!